why do I look so bright on this camera? What in the... Hello Battle Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Andrea Siobhan and I am currently a specialist in the United States Army. Today is gonna to be a Q&A of pretty much all the questions I get being in the army from anybody who's interested in the army thinking about coming into the army just got into the army things of that nature so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it it's a lot of questions i'm hoping this video isn't gonna be too long i have all of the questions here on my phone so i'm going to be looking at my phone a little bit but i hope you guys don't mind so i'm gonna go ahead and get started the first question is what is your mos i am 74 delta that is chemical c burn i am a chemical biological radiological nuclear specialist would i recommend this mos personally no i don't i don't like i don't like 74 delta uh i'm actually reclassing soon fingers crossed i'm reclassing so i mean for some people it may be interesting but for me it's it's a no dog <laughs> how do you feel about being in an army i like being in an army of course i have my complaints just as well as everybody else and they're are some things that I don't like but as far as the army itself it's set up for you to succeed it's set up for you to better yourself better your life and do great things so I like the army I like uh, the pride walking around in my uniform I like when people say thank you for your service I like that stuff I like being in the army I don't know about everybody else but I like being in the army what made you join originally I would have to say Education, that was actually the main one. Education, healthcare, that was another one. Um, just to do a little bit more than what I was doing. Not to say that I wasn't doing enough when I was a civilian because I had a good job, I had a good car, I had a nice place. You know, I liked my life, me and my son, because again, it was my son, me and my son at the time. Me and my son enjoyed ourselves. I was able to do nice things for us, but I just felt like, I felt like there was, I could have been doing more. Now, I'm in for the stability and for education in healthcare. Do you have tips for passing the PT test? Well, with me, okay, so I still kind of struggle with the PT test. Yes, I passed the PT test, but it's not by the best score. When I first graduated basic uh, training, I was doing really good. Like my PT my PT score was always in the 290s now as far as improving I would just say do more of what it is that's required so if you want to be able to do more push-ups start doing more push-ups more often if you want to be able to do more sit-ups start doing more sit-ups more often if you want to be able to run start running more often practice makes perfect and that's pretty much my rule of thumb there's not any real specific things that I can tell you besides just take care of your body, work out regularly and practice. What advice do you have for the ASVAB? Advice I have for the ASVAB is take it seriously. Do not slack on an ASVAB. You're gonna hear a lot of people saying, oh yeah, the ASVAB easy. All you need is this score to get in. No, no, you need to take the ASVAB test as seriously as you take your state boards, SAT, whatever super important test that you need to take, you need to take the ASVAB just as serious because the ASVAB score is going to determine what job you have. As far as advice I have, I would say really go over your math, try to go over the formulas and things like that. Uh, practice your fractions, converting fractions into decimals, vice versa, things like that. You have polynomials, so really with math, I will focus on like that intro to algebra type of stuff and brush up on your word knowledge and uh, paragraph comprehension. comprehension. And I say that because when you are taking the ASVAP, you're gonna hear a lot in the Army that the one you need a 110 GT score to pretty much do anything to get into any of the schools, drop any packets, uh, a lot of the MOSs, you want at least a 110 GT score. So I would say focus on those parts. Should a single mother join the army? Yes, I'm a single mother in the army. I think single mothers should join the army. It is stressful. It takes time away from your kids, 
but in the end at the end of the day it is going to benefit them tremendously you joining the army i feel like me joining the army was a blessing i'm kind of glad that this is the decision that i made and i say yes i think single mothers should join the army because it is possible it's i mean yeah it's it's difficult but what isn't can you still wear makeup and how about getting cute like getting your nails done yes yes you can still get cute in the army especially on the weekends and when you're not on duty you can definitely do stuff like this like this i mean you know got my earrings in i've got my makeup done no you cannot wear color contacts i've had that question um lashes I'm gonna say no, although I still like to get my individuals done every now and then. I mean, they look super natural and as long as they're tasteful and they look right, then then nobody is really gonna say anything. I get my nails done like this, if you can see that. And can you see that? Yeah. This is how I get my nails done every time. Yes, this is in within regulation, so. You can't get your nails done. You can't get cute. This is coffin shape, by the way. Go and get your nails done. Make sure they're short and what is that? One fourth of an inch. You can have acrylics with clear nail polish. Get you some bubble baths, some seafoam pinks, and you go to the nail shops. Just say, hey, I'm in the military, and they'll show you all of the colors that they have for you. Can you enjoy life being in the Army? How do you balance work with personal life? Yes, you can enjoy life being in the Army. You can do anything that you can do outside of the Army in the Army. You do have a little bit more restrictions when it comes to where you can go and when you can go there. But other than that, yeah, you can enjoy life. I mean, like being here on Fort Stewart, I can go to the beach if I want to. I can go out to the club if I want to. You have Disney World right there. You have Atlanta right there. You can have a life. I mean, I can take some leave days and I can book a ticket, get my passport and go overseas if I wanted to. Yes, you're going to have to make sure you can get that leave approved. Yes, you're going to have to run everything by your commander. But all in all, you can enjoy your life in the Army. You're not 100% restrained and things like that is being in the army hard i don't think so i honestly think that it's more mentally stressful and i want to say that only because i have to get up so early in the morning you literally get up in the morning you go to pt and you work out what job is going to pay you to work out in the morning on their time you're literally doing what somebody tells you to do they're you can't get it wrong because they're telling you exactly what to do so no the army is not hard to me at all how do you handle leaving your kids when you have to deploy i handle leaving my kids when i have to deploy by knowing that my kids are going to be taken care of regardless so when i leave my kids dads are amazing so i know that they're going to take care of their kids and my family is also super amazing and super supportive I don't have to worry about anything honestly at the end of the day i'm doing this for my kids yeah i want my education i want my degrees i want a better life for myself i want to do better than what i've done but this is for my kids i'm setting the foundation for my kids so i'm hey you just got to do what you got to do and as long as i know my kids are in good hands i'm good and for some reason if that situation were to change and i feel like i can't trust anybody to keep my kids that's going to be the day i get out of the army what did you hate most about basic training and was it hard <laughs> yes basic training for me was hard it oh my goodness i hated it so much i hated basic training so much but uh, i would have to say the thing I hated most about basic training was how tired I was. I was literally a walking zombie. That that was the most horrible part. I was really messing up, you know, when it comes to my PT test. So then I was turning that over my brain like, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a holdover. I mean, every single time I felt like I was doing something wrong and I was going to have to stay. That was my, that was my response. I don't want to, I don't want to be a holdover. I want to graduate. I guess that would be the main thing I hated is how tired I was in basic training. How old are you? I am 26 years old. My birthday was on June 1st. I'm a Gemini. I'm getting old. 
How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Was it stressful being pregnant in the army? Not as stressful as it would be anywhere else to be pregnant. Yeah, I mean, there's things that you don't want to do, especially being pregnant. Like, for instance, if you don't want to take the flu shot because you think it's going to affect your baby for some reason, unless you have some type of religion or anything, you're taking that flu shot. You're going to take the flu shot. Everybody's going to take the flu shot. You can't go be seen by OB until you, I think I was 20 weeks before they actually was letting me go up to be seen by OB. Other than that, I had to go to sick call when I had any kind of issues. You're still pulling 24 hour shift up until you are 28 weeks. You are still on staff duty. And then I will have to say getting up for PT because just because you're pregnant, you're still going to do PT every single day. You're just going to go to pregnancy PT. But you still have to get up super early to go to pregnancy PT. Other than that, it wasn't bad because after you give birth, you're on like three months leave. And then after you come back from leave, you're still non-deployable. So you can recover and everything for another three months. So you do have those six months to bond with your child and things like that. But then afterwards, you will be touchable again you will be deployable and things like that so that's another thing getting pregnant in the army and having a baby you do have to be aware and be ready that it is possible for you to be separated from your infant child you know given you come up on orders to be deployed or something like that how long do you plan to stay in I plan to stay in for at least 10 years because that would alleviate me having to pay back any student loans. So if I were to put myself on a timeline, I would say I'm going to try to tough it out for 10 years. That way I can get out debt free pretty much. How about relationships in the army? Is it possible? I think it is possible. I've seen both ends of the spectrum. I've seen where relationships completely fall to eh. And I've also seen and still see really successful, lovely relationships in the army. It just depends on who you're talking to because you have to have a lot of willpower and a lot of discipline to do what you're supposed to do. And you have to really have a lot of respect from that for that person that you're with to not do what you know you're not supposed to do. I mean, it's kind of common sense. So it's crazy how many people can go in a relationship without realizing that the other person is married oh my god it's real but i do i personally think it is possible it is possible you just have to get a good understanding with each other on what it is you're both requiring if you're with a person that's uh, that's a civilian you need this this person needs to understand that sometimes you're going to be away you know you're not always going to be available and if you're with another service member that person is also going to have to understand that you guys at times you're going to be separated again you have to really talk about the stresses and things that that relationship is going to go through being that you are military because it's it's definitely a talk worth having what would you say are the pros and the cons of the army? Um, I would say the pros would be stability. You know where your next paycheck is coming from. Education. You get to travel. But those are pretty much the main ones. And the cons, I would have to say, yeah, the possibility of being deployed. You are a soldier. Being separated from your family is a big one. And you do kind of give up some of those freedoms that you have as a civilian is some some of the main cons i would have to say where would you like to be stationed i would like to be stationed in korea i wouldn't mind giving hawaii a try germany is definitely on my list italy fort sam that's on my list um and that's about all of them that I would like to, you know, visit. Tips for basic. Tips for basic, I would say, try to keep your nose clean. Make sure you are doing what you're supposed to do. You are where you need to be, when you need to be there, wearing the right uniform, and you should be good to go. Don't try to, try to stay invisible. You don't want to stand out above the crowd, but you also don't want to fall too far behind the crowd either you want to you want a happy medium biggest lesson 
you learned from the army and in life in general the biggest lesson i've learned from the army is do not stress oh my goodness don't stress over things that you cannot control and that's easier said than done you literally have to look at it like is it a problem can i fix it no okay i guess there's nothing to worry about then or is it a problem can i fix it yes oh well I guess there's still nothing to worry about, you know. In the army, you're going to you're going to notice that a lot of the times your life is in the air, especially around those times where you're PCSing or you're getting ready to train or you're getting ready to go on a rotation. You know, there's a lot of times these things are up in the air, so you just have to pretty much I'm going to say go with the flow. I never believe before and going in going with the flow until i got in the army so there you go and as far as life in general i would have to say make sure you're enjoying life that's one of the things that i just started doing i look up and i'm 26 years old and i realize that i haven't done much i try not to regret anything that i do but it kind of puts a little bit of regret inside of me because I wish there was more that I would have done. And the first time I ever really been outside of Iowa was when I decided to just up and just move to Phoenix. And I was there for a year before I joined the army. I never been outside of the United States. The last time I celebrated my birthday, I was 17, I think. And again, I'm 26 years old. So... I really been letting time get away from me and I'm going to contribute that to me constantly saying, oh, well, when I get this, then I'll start enjoying myself. When I get this, then I'll start, you know, traveling or when I'm here, you know, I started doing that. And then I realized I look up and I'm 26 years old and what have I really done? You know, what have I really done since I haven't done anything? So now that I've cleared my mind of all that craziness and I've stopped doing that I am I've been doing more I haven't I, I still haven't been doing as much as I would like to but I'm starting to do more so I would have to say one of the biggest lessons that life in general has taught me is to live life tomorrow is not promised to anyone and you have to take advantage of the time that you do have on this earth in the time that you have with the people that you have trying to wait to enjoy that time it could you could be waiting and, it, and then it'll end up being too late what's your favorite color my favorite color is green like you know that um that army green <laughs> that's so corny the olive green the olive green color is is my favorite color is it true you have to give up custody of your kids to join the army yes in a sense, yes. Um, single, okay, because it's going to contradict what I said earlier about I think single mothers should join the army, but single mothers are not allowed, single parents are not allowed to join the army. Hypothetically speaking, for some reason, you had to sign over the rights to your kids and you joined the army, you graduated from basic training, and you moved on to your first duty station only to find out that circumstances has changed for the person that you signed those rights over to. So you go back to court, get those rights signed back over to you. Well, they're not gonna kick you out of the army for getting your kids back. You just have to make sure you have a valid family care plan and you'll be good. But that's if you're going active duty. That's if you're going active duty. The last time I checked, if you are going to like the National Guard or Reserve, you don't you don't need to do that. You just need to you just need to make sure you have a family care plan. I'm thinking about joining the army when I graduate high school. Do you think that's a good idea? For me, I would have to say no because if that were me and if I was advising my little sisters or my little brother, I would tell them go to school first. At least get an associate's degree. At least get some type of college out of the way and then join. I would say give yourself a chance to be out of high school and figure out if, you know, that's working for you first. And if it isn't working for you, then think about pursuing a career in the Army. Next question. What happens if I score low on an ASVAB? Okay, so if you score low on an ASVAB, 
let's say you score low but you still get a good enough score to get into the army you're just not going to have a lot of choices when it comes to a lot of the jobs if you do score low on the ASVAB you don't have to take that you can wait and retake the ASVAB again and try to get a higher score I would say if you do get a low score wait and try to take it again how should I do my hair for basic training this is how my hair was in basic and this is what I would recommend make sure you get you your eco styler because when you get if you don't take it with you if you get there what they have available to you especially if you have hair like mine it's not gonna hold your hair down don't get braids because you're gonna have to constantly put them back in a bun and they're gonna rip your edges out don't get a weave think about it you got them braids under there you still got a shower it's gonna stink you're gonna be rolling around in mud just wear your hair just wear your hair just like this just just like this are you scared of being deployed no no i'm not i'm not scared of being deployed i mean i do i do wonder like how it's going to be and of course you know you get nervous when it comes to stuff like that because it's a it's it's new just like joining the army is new you're going to a completely new situation and things like that but um am i scared of being deployed no. All right, Battle Bays, that's it. All of the questions for my very first q and I'm hoping this video wasn't too long, but if you have any additional questions, please comment down below and I will make sure I get to them in a future video. If not, just down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos. Thank you so much and I'm gonna see you guys later. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the record.